Ladies and gentlemen, it's exactly what I told you to expect. I'm going to make a video right now regarding what to expect and how to use the Bat Cow Rarity Tool that I made. That's exactly what I'm calling it, the Bat Cow Rarity Tool. Um, I'm going to tell you how to use everything eloquently, properly, and appropriately. If you have any questions, let me know. And let's go ahead and get started. So as you'll see in a couple seconds, three, two, one. Um, this is the main. This is the main screen right here. Again, uh, this is all going to be a very basic overview and then an in-depth analysis on, on how it will work and how it does work currently. So the background information sheet. These are all the potential. Um, these are all the attributes that every backhaul has. So if you go to the NFT backhaul splash screen, um, you can see exactly every single. Um, attribute it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so it's, they're all there they're all counted for um there's currently and a maximum of eleven thousand five hundred forty three cows already minted so that's what it means currently minted cows i should change it i'm gonna put um cow mint amount and then the trait totals, they're a total of 476 different traits. But apparently these number, numbers are all off by one. Or at least most of them are off by one. So I gotta go and fix that right now. But for right now, um, there are 400, about 480 traits total throughout all the values. And some of them are replicating, but there are 480 different traits throughout all of the 11 attributes. So let's go ahead and look at them. So if you wanna find something specifically, or something that you want to look at like one area you just click on it it'll take you to where you want to go you can also use the bottom area right here to go ahead and just find the other uh traits that you are interested in um the attribute t the attribute types go down in rarity so the lower it is the more rare it is the rarity percentage is simply the amount of other cows with that exact same attribute so death in the family is the most popular attribute right it has 2,044 other uh, cows with that attribute, and there, that means a total of 17.71% of all the cows right now have that attribute, death in the family. Um, the rarity calculation, what this means is basically, uh, it is how common your attribute is. So, basically, if you have the lowest common, you have the... It's 100% because it's so easy to get. So basically, by minting, you are guaranteed the lowest attribute. So um, basically, the smaller number is better because if you go all the way down here. Only 14 cows have the under the hood attribute. And it is a 0.12% chance of getting it, which means that you're in the top 0.12% uh, in this category for having this cow. Um, you can see up here, it's the same thing. Total cows with attribute, the 11,543, just by adding all these together. Um, you can see right here, it's just a sum of all of these, which means as long as that number adds up, all these numbers are correct. Um, there are a total of 19 different traits in this one category right here. There are 19 different traits in this uh, attribute. And yeah, so it just goes forward more, like, more so like that. So again... Um, this way you can actually see the importance of your traits. Now, let me tell you what I mean by that. If you go here, it looks like, oh, um, your cow, only 34% of other cows have this trait. It seems rare. It seems good. But if you go to my, uh, calculator or correction, if you go to my back cow rarity tool, and then you go to the cow type, there are only three different cow types and they're all equal. Almost every single one is the exact same in terms of the amount that have been minted. Which basically just means that it doesn't matter. So 33, 34% chance of getting it, it doesn't really matter. Like it does make it slightly less rare or slightly more rare depending on which way you lean towards. Um, if you have this one, it's slightly more rare. If you have this one, it's slightly less rare. But it varies by literally just one, uh, like 1%, not like a 1% or a fraction of a percent. So, but in terms of grading the overall cowl, it does affect the... Um, the total value of it, and I'll get into that much late. I'll get into that a little later in this video, when I talk about how I'm going to calculate the uh, rarity calculator tool, so you can see algorithmic al algorithmically where your cow lies on a scale of super common, the most basic one, to the rarest one in existence. 
all right so we go to domino same thing happens here you can see how it goes by having this uh, spike visor trait there's only 11 in existence and that means there's a 0.10% chance of minting it which means if you have it you're in this category you are in the 0.10% of this category now let me tell you exactly um actually I'm gonna say one more thing so for materials we can go right here there are over 180 different materials materials and a lot of them are just 0.01% chance of getting this is where the rarity section comes in handy right so technically for your for your materials no matter what you have for the material one and material two you're always going to have or correction as no matter what you have for material one you're always going to have something that's in le less than two percent two percent or less so if we go mine mine is very dark gray ballistic weave for mat one very dark gray gray ballistic weave let's find it very dark gray gray ballistic weave it's down in the in uh 51 now what does this mean overall so even though mine is in the two percent what this really means because of my rarity trait at uh attribute is i'm in the top 23 percent or 24 percent for this category because even though they're all around the same only 184 were minted as opposed to everything below is technically more common. So even though, the, even though they all say 2% or less of a chance of getting, this, the one that I specifically have, is in the top 24%. So this means you're in the top blank percent. So if you have, let's go all the gold all the way down to our deep blue tight weave, only 25 are minted, even though a bunch are in the 20s, Technically, this is the top 8% of having it. And the, if they tie, like 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, I have it listed the same way that the DC counter uh, has it listed. I literally copy and pasted that in, in that regard. So that is what the area on the right uh, helps with because even though this one says 2% rarity, technically that is the most basic trait you could possibly have for the material one. All right, material two gets a lot more easy because um, if you have none, three percent rarity, that's the base, and then it goes down. But it 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 varies. It 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 changes. So if we look at my next one, I have matte two evening blue. Let me type in evening blue matte vinyl. Is that it? Yeah, evening blue matte vinyl. I'm technically in the top seventy five percent, which means I'm in the bottom twenty five percent for this attribute. It's a pretty common attribute attribute right there. And the material three, I have none, which is base. And yep, look right there. 96% of people have that base. So I am in the top 100%, which means I am the bottom bottom for having the attribute right there. Now, let me tell you how the calculator is going to work. Sorry if it's a little confusing. Feel free to talk to me at any point in time on uh, Discord or comment here, but most likely Discord is the best way to talk to me specifically. What you're gonna wanna do, um, or what I'm going to do, to make the calculator is I'm going to have you guys, uh, basically it's gonna have a drop down menu for all these attributes. You're gonna fill in exactly what you have. So let's say it says like, oh, what background do you have? You're gonna go here, see serial, and then go to the website and just type in serial, right? Um, same thing for all the other attributes. What it's going to do is it's going to look at the rarity grouping calculator. It's gonna look at how common those attributes are. It's gonna find a common factor for all of them so i'm going to do my math uh live for you right now i haven't done this yet technically for this uh specific bat for a bat cow at all but i know it works i've done it for my matrix avatars and that's how uh matrix avatar rarity tool works basically so let's look at mine i have the serial background so serial background is in the top 10.27 percent so we're gonna do uh, 10.27 percent then I have the MK 2009 Cal which is in the hundred percent and then times one because we're doing percentages or correction we're finding the average I'm so glad I remember this plus one because we're finding the average so you add them all up and divide them by the amount that exists um, then domino my domino is signal domino which is the most basic so again plus one i have a very basic cow i like it a lot so i'm not really mad about it because i'm here for the utility not even for the 
collect your stuff. If he's left, none. If he's right, none. So plus two more. And then we have forward mod, none. So yeah, I'm telling you, I have a really, really common one. Um, let's go to jaw. My jaw is classic jaw, which is the basic, which is another plus one. I'm telling you, mine's basically like the most back how you could get one of them. Um, in fact, orange light effects. That is nine. Interesting. Um, so that's 9.08. So 0 0.90. Oh, correction, actually. Because, yeah, 0 0.908. So that is 9%. So that's 0 0.0908. Plus uh, material one. We just looked at this. It was very dark gray ballistic weave. You can only copy paste um, and control F to find it. So that's 24. Let's just go to 23.93. So plus 2393 plus material two, which was evening blue matte vinyl. All right. So that's 7488 plus 74. Oh, sorry. 0.7488 plus the last one is. Material three, which means I have the most basic one. None. So again, I have a bunch of super basic ones. So plus one. All right. So we have an answer of 8.1816 over the span of how many attributes there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wrong thing. Sorry. Whoopsies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven attributes. All of them have a score. The lowest score is uh, one, basically. Highest score is a 10. So this is 8. So I'm going to divide this by 11. Multiply it by 100. And subtract it from 100. The reason why is because the higher score is better. So we're going to do the inverse of this number. So that is 25.62 because we're getting rid of the negative. So let's just say, actually, let's just say that... Now, let's say 25.62. I'm not going to multiply it by negative one. So, my cow is it has a score of 25.62 out of 100, which means I am in the bottom 24% or 26% of all the cows overall. Um, technically, if someone had like all the most basic ones, which is Death in the Family, MK2009, Signal Domino, none, 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 all that stuff, then they would have a score of one. Because he check this out. If you do one times eleven, or like one plus eleven, so one. Oh crap. One times eleven, that's eleven, and then divide by eleven, you're back to one. Multiply that by a hundred, subtract that from a hundred. Actually, the answer is zero. The lowest score you could possibly get is zero. The highest score you're able to get is a hundred, because or actually it's not even a hundred. It is something else entirely because you're multiplying all this and find the average of that. So that is how the rarity tool will work. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I'm excited to see this project go forward. Uh, peace out. Have a great day. And I'll catch you guys later.